Number 10, Will Smith. Most people know about the infamous slap at this year's Oscars, but Will Smith's arrogant behavior actually dates back a few decades. Just ask Janet Hubert. She played Aunt Viv on The Fresh Prince of Bel Air alongside Will Smith in the 90s sitcom. When Hubert left the show in 1993, she said that it was due to creative differences, but eventually revealed that she practically got bullied off the show by Smith, who was a rising star at the time. In fact, he went on the record publicly dissing his former co star several times. And during one radio interview, he said, quote, I can straight up say that Janet Hubert wanted the show to be the Aunt Viv of Bel Air show. As a result, Janet was somewhat shut out of the industry and labeled as hard to work with. When asked if Smith had matured since those comments, she told TMZ that he is still an egomaniac and has not grown up. It wasn't until the Fresh Prince of Bel Air reunion special in 2020 that Smith even acknowledged that he made life hell for the actress during their third season. Hubert opened up about how the those rumors had cost her everything, including her career and reputation. Quote, calling a black woman difficult is Hollywood's kiss of death. Number nine, Miles Teller. While being interviewed for Esquire in 2015, he was quoted saying, I was thinking about how I probably think I'm better looking than the public thinks I am. Maybe it's because I came from a small town, but I always did well for myself. A lot of people seem to think that he was implying that girls from small towns have lower standards or that there simply aren't as many good looking people in small towns. Either way, it was a bit of a strange remark. Teller has also had no issue insulting John Cusack by saying, I guess we look alike. We did some similar movies. He wasn't traditionally good looking, he was offbeat and quirky but confident. I get it, but I don't want his career. That last comment seemed a little bit unnecessary, but okay. Not only that, but Teller tried to distance himself from his fellow actors. Quote, I feel like a lot of actors of my generation are not proper actors. I want to break out of that whole group of actors in their early 20s and really start to put stuff down that lets you know I take this seriously. It's only been a few years since he landed his first major role, but the actor has already developed something of a reputation in the industry. He admitted to only taking his role in the movie Divergent for business reasons, and that the blockbuster left him feeling dead inside. Clearly, Miles Teller is just a little too comfortable throwing his own movies under the bus after he receives the check. Number eight, Lindsay Lohan. The actress was exposed for her extremely obnoxious attitude by writer Jacqueline D. Powers, who had originally planned on shadowing the then 25 year old, but the writer for Plum Miami saw firsthand what the actress was like over a weekend and proceeded to write an article which painted Lindsay as demanding and a drunken diva who traveled with a revolving pack of pseudo chaperones. She revealed that Lohan had a full on meltdown over a misplaced pair of heels and mentioned the time that she shouted at a parking lot attendant saying, move that cone, I'm Lindsay Lohan. According to the journalist, this incident foreshadowed the arrogance and demanding personality she exhibited as her sweet girl facade started slipping. Jacqueline claimed that Lindsay was constantly looking for drama and the actress allegedly told her that she was indignant that she was not considered for the movie Black Swan because she took ballet classes until she was 19. Add all of this to the incident in 2018 when the actress was recorded speaking to what looked like a homeless family sitting on the street and tried to convince them to give her their children so that she could take them to a hotel. When they did not respond to the offer, she attempted to reach for one of the kids and take them with her by force. Number seven, James Charles. The internet cannot forget when YouTube makeup guru Tati Westbrook uploaded a viral video called By Sister, where she accused James Charles of using his fame to manipulate someone's sexuality. Tati mentioned one incident in particular, which occurred during her birthday party, where James had allegedly tried to flirt with a waiter named Sam and used the excuse, I'm a celebrity, when Tati warned him that Sam was actually straight. The level of entitlement there is ridiculous. Since then, a wave of allegations have come out accusing the YouTuber of sending explicit messages to minors, specifically nude photographs and pressuring them into inappropriate conversations on Snapchat. In April of 2021, Charles did address the allegations in a YouTube video titled Holding Myself Accountable, but that only served to dig him deeper into the hole as he admitted to the fact that he had sent those messages to the minors. What's good is that he received quite a lot of backlash for the scandal, as Morphe, a makeup company that Charles had worked with since 2016, announced on Twitter that they had severed ties from the influencer. So in the end, his entitlement really caught up with him. Number six, Amber Heard. You could argue that the Aquaman actress has already been humbled big time after losing
losing the highly publicized defamation trial brought against her by Johnny Depp. But as followers of the case were glued to their screens for the six weeks that the trial was live streamed, viewers were subjected to various stories of her arrogance and entitlement. In fact, when Depp's sound engineer Keenan Wyatt appeared in court and during his testimony, he testified about a time that he joined the former couple on a private jet flight from Boston to Los Angeles in May of 2014. It was then that he noticed that the actress was giving her ex-husband the cold shoulder and at one point he tried to comfort her by telling her that Depp cares about her, which resulted in Heard yelling at him, saying how dare you talk to me, and screaming at him to get away from her. It was also revealed during a trial that Heard bullied her ex-assistant Kate James, refusing to pay her a living wage. And according to James, one of her duties as Heard's assistant was collecting two copies of any magazine that featured Amber on the cover and storing them in a garage. So it's likely that the actress was extremely self-obsessed among other things. Number 5. Ezra Miller The actor has grown increasingly entitled over the years ever since landing pivotal roles in huge movies like Fantastic Beasts and The Flash. But it's surprising that Ezra Miller's crazy behaviour has gone unchecked for so long. For instance, in 2020, they were caught on video choking a woman outside a bar in Iceland. The incident took place after Miller was approached by a group of eager young fans who were just excited to have spotted the actor. But the interaction escalated and Miller was heard asking the woman, oh you want to fight? That's what you want to do? She was clearly confused and thought that Miller was just joking until they grabbed her by the throat and violently threw her to the ground. They were also involved in a string of arrests in Hawaii and in one incident officials say that Miller became irate after being asked to leave a gathering at a bar and threw a chair which struck a 26 year old woman on the head, injuring her very badly. Not only that but the 29 year old has also been accused by two musicians of stealing their music and trying to pass it off as their own without giving them credit. Music producer Oliver Ignatius and rapper Geis Guevara claim the actor stole the music they worked on and posted it to social media without credits. Number 4 Chrissy Teigen The 35 year old cookbook author faced heavy criticism recently following reports of cyberbullying and extremely arrogant behaviour, even for a Hollywood celebrity. So many celebrities came forward to accuse Teigen, including Lindsay Lohan, Farah Abraham and Project Runway star Michael Costello of being extremely cruel online. It was really bad, in fact the model had to apologise for telling reality star Courtney Stoden to take her own life in 2011, and she only backpedalled on her comments when she was called out for them. When speaking about the incident, Teigen admitted that she was, quote, being an insecure, attention-seeking troll. But she has also bullied little children. When talking about a nine-year-old in 2013, she tweeted, quote, is it okay to call a small child cocky? Not only that, but a clip of the model went viral when she was hosting the Billboard Music Awards in 2015, and she was making her way to the stage when a woman tripped over her gown and fell. Instead of stopping to help the woman up or even check to see if she was okay, she just kept strutting her stuff. If anyone needs to be humbled, it's definitely Chrissy Teigen. Number 3. The Baby. Another celebrity that's extremely entitled is The Baby. The 30 year old rapper was accused of making homophobic remarks at a music festival concert in Miami last year. The Baby told the crowd that if you didn't show up with any STIs, quote, that'll make you die in two to three weeks, then put a cell phone light in the air. He was actually referencing the particular STI that most commonly affects the queer community, much to everyone's outrage. In fact, he shouted many other questionable things at the crowd, mainly trying to hype them up with disparaging comments about gay men. Of course, his behaviour quickly drew massive criticism and his attempt to clarify his views didn't really help his case at all. He claimed that his intentions were to uplift gay fans who are disease free because they are not quote nasty junkies. Naturally, he got ripped into by the LGBTQ plus community, Madonna, Elton John and his collaborator Dua Lipa. He was booted from the 2022 Lollapalooza tour and had a concert in Atlanta called off as well as the fashion brand Boohoo Man bolting on a deal with him and radio stations putting his music into time out. Number 2 Bradley Cooper Few people would believe that the Hangover star is just another obnoxious Hollywood type but according to his ex-wife's autobiography Jennifer Esposito believed that he was arrogant and a master manipulator. In the wake of their 5 month marriage breakdown she claimed that the actor actually had a mean cold side that he attempted to keep hidden from the public which he could turn on and off like a switch. The autobiography called Jennifer's Way doesn't mention Bradley by name but the time frame that she mentions fits with the time that she was with the Hollywood star. The 49 year old actress described being asked out by the actor 
and ignoring an entire marching band squad of red flags because she didn't think the romance would pan out. But sure enough, they got married in 2007. And according to Jennifer, their relationship quickly became unhealthy and she felt very alone. Meanwhile, rumors were circulating within the industry that Bradley would often exhibit diva behavior, which only intensified when the Brazilian newspaper Glamorama claimed that he intentionally ignored his fans while filming The Hangover 3 and was also late to several press conferences and rude when it came to answering questions from reporters. And coming in at number one, P. Diddy. Although Sean P. Diddy Combs seems to be in the public eye a little less over the years, there was a long, long span of time when he was seemingly everywhere, from the music scene to television and the fashion world. You don't have to dig too deep online to unearth some of the most cockiest things that the rapper has ever said. For instance, when talking about his love life, he was extremely overconfident. Quote, being an international rap superstar, sex is one of the easiest things to get. So there is a point where you get tired of it. Not only that, but at the launch of his clothing line, he was quoted telling reporters, I am fashion. And let's not forget about the infamous Playboy interview that he did. Quote, if I'm not inspiring you at this point, you're a lost hope. I dare you to write down all of my achievements. It will be overwhelming. Who else has conquered television? Who else has conquered fashion? Honestly, it's hard to believe these statements are even real, but it does sound very similar to things Kanye has said over the years. Diddy also received a lot of backlash after hosting this year's Billboard Awards, with many people criticizing the rapper for using the platform to blatantly promote all things related to him and not the show. Talk about ego. Number 10, Jay-Z. Yes, it's true that he's a famous rapper with a stellar career that made millions and millions of dollars. And the fact that he's married to Beyonce is definitely something to brag about. With all that considered, anyone would be cocky, but Jay-Z takes it to a whole other level. In fact, his arrogance was at an all-time high in 2013, when he was heavily criticized by social activist Harry Belafonte and other prominent figures in the black community for what they believe is a lack of social responsibility. He responded in literally the worst way possible. Quote, I'm offended by that because first of all, and this is going to sound arrogant, but my presence is charity, just who I am, just like Obama's is. He went on to say that Obama provides hope, whether he does anything. The hope that he provides for a nation and outside of America is enough. So basically, he says that he's doing the same thing just by being famous. Not only that, but in 2012, Jay-Z dissed Robert De Niro, who was apparently a big fan of his music. The actor reportedly called Jay-Z six times to work with him and received a grand total of zero calls back. De Niro then verbally confronted Jay-Z about the situation and said, it doesn't matter who you are, if someone calls you six times, you call them back. It doesn't matter who you are, that is just rude. Number nine, Gwyneth Paltrow. She's one of those celebrities that really need to be humbled. Even before trying to be some kind of lifestyle guru, she made it clear a long time ago just how out of touch she is with regular people. She once made an entire population of working mothers angry when she said, quote, it's much harder for me. I think to have a regular job and to be a mom is not as, of course there are challenges, but it's not like being on set. Not only that, but in 2009, she was quoted saying, I am who I am. I can't pretend to be somebody who makes $25,000 a year. Even earlier in 2006, she trash talked Reese Witherspoon's career. Quote, why is she doing these stupid romantic comedies? But of course it's for money and status. And let's not forget all the drama with the Goop Lab, which is just another way for Paltrow to push her so-called healthy lifestyle onto regular people, where she posts must-have outfits that cost hundreds if not thousands of dollars and tries to frame it as a necessity. Her website was also heavily criticized for promoting questionable things like sprays and crystals that are meant to prevent mental manipulation by people, not to mention potentially dangerous supplements that were marketed to pregnant women. So it's no surprise that she earned the top spot in Star's 2013 Most Hated Celebrity List. Number eight, Jennifer Lopez. JLo's reputation as a diva precedes her, and over the years, it's become blaringly obvious that she is not at all down to earth. She didn't hold back when it came to her opinion on sharing the stage with Shakira at the 2020 Super Bowl halftime show. In her newly released documentary called Halftime, she labeled it as the worst idea in the world. 
Quote, if it was going to be a double headliner, they should have given us 20 minutes. That's what they should have effing done. Basically, it turns out that Jennifer was frustrated with the NFL for booking two headliners and making them share the stage at the same time. She's also notorious for refusing to talk to certain people, like in 2012 when she got a hotel maid fired for asking for her signature, or when she was on a commercial airline and a flight attendant asked JLo what she wanted to drink. And rather than telling the attendant, she turned to her assistant to have them relay the drink order. Let's also mention the infamous movie line interview in 1998 when she basically decided to trash all the other celebrities that were big at the time and try to trivialize their career. When asked about Madonna, she said, quote, do I think she's a great performer? Yeah. Do I think she's a great actress? No. Acting is what I do. So I'm harder on people when they say, oh, I can do that. And I'm like, no, don't spit on my craft. Number seven, Justin Bieber. In the beginning of his career as a young teen, Bieber seemed to be extremely humble and kind. But as his fame grew, so did his attitude and lack of human decency. He took his apparent belief that he is a one of a kind way beyond his position in the music industry. Like when Bieber said that he hoped Anne Frank would have been a believer. The once teenage heartthrob shocked the internet in 2013 when he was in Amsterdam visiting the hiding place of the young victim, which has since been turned into a museum. The Canadian pop star opened himself up to ridicule and online anger when he wrote in the Anne Frank House guest book that it was truly inspiring to be able to come here and that Anne was a great girl. Hopefully she would have been a believer. The comments were insensitive at best as it sounded like he believed Anne Frank would have been his devoted fan. Not only that, but he's also thought of himself above the law on several occasions and is known for his atrocious behavior in public. He's been in trouble with the cops for graffiti spraying, egg throwing, smoking and causing disturbances to his neighbors, just to name a few. In a 2013 Billboard interview, Bieber said, quote, don't say I'm not talented. If you haven't noticed, I wasn't made, I was found. Yeah, okay. Number six, Adam Levine. There is no denying Adam Levine's sex symbol status, but for that exact same reason, he has also been labeled a bit too cocky for his own good. In fact, just last year, a TikTok went viral of Adam going off on a fan for coming on stage. The incident happened during a Maroon 5 performance when he was belting out the band's 2004 hit, Sunday Morning, and an overly eager fan suddenly rushed to the stage and reached for him. The video shows that security quickly grabbed the woman and pulled her away from Adam, who was then seen cursing, shuddering, and shaking off the experience before getting back into the music. Many were offended by his visceral reaction, suggesting that he should humble himself and remember that the band is only successful because of its fans. But back in a 2014 interview with GQ magazine, the singer addressed his reputation as a bit of an egomaniac. Quote, I'm not arrogant, I'm cocky. It's different. Cocky is playful. Others would certainly beg to differ. But if you want to know what was really obnoxious, let's look at his tone deaf comments about infidelity in 2009, when he said, I have cheated. And you know what? There is nothing worse than the feeling of doing it. So apparently it's not hard for the people that are getting cheated on, only the people that are doing the cheating. Number five, Kim Kardashian. The Keeping Up With The Kardashian star was never really one to be humble. In fact, she's known to be obnoxious and what some would call everything that's wrong with celebrity culture these days. She is totally obsessed with her appearance and fans have seen her complain about not being skinny enough or fashionable enough for years on her show. So no one was really surprised when in 2015, she published a book containing only her selfies, which certainly speaks to how confident she is that people would want to buy a thousand photos of her face. Or in 2011, when Old Navy released a series of ads featuring a brunette woman that looked ever so slightly similar to Kim. So she sued the company for millions of dollars. She believed that they capitalized on her look and caused serious damage to her career, which caused her to lose somewhere in the range of 15 to 20 million dollars. Not to mention when she tried to break into the music industry in 2011 with her one and only song that was called Jam Turn It Up. Let's just say that it was 
a flop. But the music video was comedy gold. It's really no wonder that she's known as the most considered of the Kardashians. Number 4 Kanye West There are approximately over a hundred thousand ridiculous Kanye West quotes on why he thinks that he's so great. So much so that these days he's more known for his erratic behaviour and strange comments rather than for his music and fashion endeavours. Like at the 2009 MTV Video Music Awards when he infamously interrupted Taylor Swift's acceptance speech for best female video. Kanye jumped on stage and took over the mic declaring that Beyonce had one of the best videos of all time. And it wasn't just a heat of the moment thing, he seemed to be genuinely okay with interrupting another person's acceptance speech because a whole decade later, he told Nick Cannon, quote, if God didn't want me to run up on stage and say, Beyonce had the best video, he wouldn't have sat me in the front row. Apart from that, one of the cockiest things he's ever said was, quote, for me, I am a creative genius. There's no other way to word it. He's also compared himself to Shakespeare, Andy Warhol, and Tupac. In fact, he once said, I'm my own favourite rapper, and that his greatest pain in life is that he will never be able to see himself perform live. Wow. Number 3 Russell Crowe The actor has long been the poster boy for arrogant Hollywood types, blokey swearing and random acts of PG violence. There were rumours that he threatened any media platform that published stories about him having a fling with Courtney Love, and some say that he chose to have a bodyguard accompany him into public toilets to ensure that no one else enters while he was there. But one of the wildest displays of his arrogance was in 2002, when he intimidated and attacked the producer of the BAFTA Awards for cutting his speech short and preventing him from reciting poetry to the world. Around this time, Crow appeared to be maxing out on his obnoxious troublemaking, and in 2004, he beat up his own bodyguard because he insinuated that the actor had had enough to drink. Then only a year later, he was charged with criminal possession of a weapon for allegedly throwing a phone that cut a hotel clerk's eye, all because he was unable to get connected with his wife. The Australian actor is also notoriously difficult to work with and has been described as having a legendarily bad temper, regularly shouting at his scriptwriters, yelling at them on phone calls while discussing the story. In fact, while filming Gladiator, Crow allegedly threatened a seasoned producer and said that he would kill him with his bare hands because he is annoying the hell out of him. Number 2 Leah Michelle. She has recently made headlines for replacing fellow actress Beanie Feldstein in the Broadway production of Funny Girl and Fan are fuming. They have good reason to be upset because Leah Michelle is the complete opposite of humble. In fact, the actress is still being plagued by multiple allegations of racism and bullying that surfaced in June of 2020. According to actors that worked with her on the set of Glee, she was an extremely spoiled and hateful person. While only rumours circulated about her demeanour before, everything changed when the actress tweeted her support for Black Lives Matter and her former co-star Samantha Ware called her out on her hypocrisy. After Samantha spoke out, dozens of co-stars, film crew and staff flooded social media with stories about the diva. In fact, one Twitter user shared an instance when she worked with Michelle and the late Corey Monteith. Quote, I've been telling people this for years. I worked with her once. She literally would only speak to me through her assistant, just not addressing my presence. She was two feet away. Corey was kind and incredibly lovely to work with. So it's safe to say that her real life personality matched up with her arrogant on-screen persona as Rachel Berry. And number 1 Shia LaBeouf Never a stranger to acting out bad behaviour or questionable choices, Shia LaBeouf's antics have given him a reputation for being one of the most obnoxious actors that Hollywood has ever produced. One perfect example of this was when the Transformers actor tried his hand at directing and came out with his very own short film called Howard Cantor, which was shown at Cannes in May 2012 and received significant acclaim and praise from critics everywhere. But what people didn't realise is that he literally stole the whole script and tried to claim it off as his own. The script was published online in late 2013 and comic fans noticed that the story was copied pretty much word for word from a book by Daniel 
will close without credit, consent, or even compensation. To make matters worse, when confronted about it, Shia apologized and then later revealed to have plagiarized all of his apologies from other people. Only a few weeks later, as a publicity stunt to gain attention, he declared that he was retiring from his persona as a celebrity and started appearing in public wearing a paper bag on his head with the words, I am not famous anymore written on it. At number 10, Rachel Ray. Rachel Ray may seem like a happy, fun, and helpful person on TV, but it seems like that's not exactly true. She might seem wholesome while teaching you how to make a casserole, but deep down she's got a dark side. There are a few unpleasant things about Rachel that people have caught on to, including things like being a lousy tipper at restaurants, having allegedly cheated on her husband, and being rude on set. But she's also been accused of more harsh things like making racial remarks about Oprah, the very woman who gave her her start. On top of that, she's also talked badly behind the backs of a lot of celebrities, calling them some pretty mean names that I can't repeat on YouTube. And she's also faced lawsuits for her dog food brand containing toxic substances, so not only is she mean to people, but she's mean to dogs too. At number 9, Jared Leto. If you ask the internet what they think about Jared Leto, a surprising amount of people say that he's kind of a jerk. I even found a list that someone made of all of the reasons that make Jared Leto a bad person, and since this individual, along with a number of others, don't like him, I thought I'd include him on this list to get your take on this. Some of the reasons listed as to why Jared sucks so much include the fact that he's been caught being mean to fans, and he's offended the trans community after winning an Oscar for his performance in Dallas Buyers Club, and not mentioning the trans community in his speech, as well as undermining the struggles of the trans community after joking about his appearance in character. Jared has also admitted to lying during interviews whenever possible, and people found his joker antics on the set of Suicide Squad to be a little mean because of the pranks that he would play on people as well as the gifts that he would send to the cast and crew. I know a lot of his fans say that he's good and a genuine guy, but some of his actions say otherwise. What do you guys think? If you guys liked the video so far, please go ahead and leave a thumbs up on the video. Your feedback is really helpful and it helps our channel grow, so go ahead and smash that like button. At number 8, Kanye West. Kanye West isn't the nicest guy out there, I think we all know that. I mean, he's not the worst person, but he also has a knack for offending people. Whether it's on stage or on Twitter, I'm sure we've seen Kanye West be pretty mean and offensive on multiple occasions. Let me highlight a few of his worst moments. Remember the VMA incident where he stole Taylor Swift's spotlight after winning her award? Not nice. How about his claim that slavery was a choice, undermining the struggle of so many black lives lost and enslavement? People also think Kanye is mean because he tries to control what his wife Kim wears, trying to manipulate her style but also forcing her to cover up and not show as much skin. We also have to mention his tweets as well. He's very outspoken online and has a tendency to offend people a lot. From his claims about Bill Cosby being an innocent man following his allegations, as well as his tweets bashing his own family members, Kanye does not hold back. Some people believe that Kanye is mean because he thinks that he's better than everyone else and doesn't have to worry about other people's feelings as well. At number 7, Bill Murray. Bill Murray has a bad reputation in Hollywood for his poor behavior on set, so it's no surprise to me to find out that he's actually bullied one of his castmates on the set of Charlie's Angels. While filming the movie, Bill Murray was said to have antagonized actors Lucy Liu. When watching the film, you'd think that they were all good friends and on good terms, but that's quite the opposite. In reality, it was a sort of hostile work environment that caused Bill to take on a dislike towards Lucy. Turns out, Bill would insult Lucy's talent and acting ability, and on one occasion even said, quote, I get why you're here, you've got talent, but what in the hell are you doing here, you can't act. Apparently, the harassment and bullying got so bad at one point that Lucy tried throwing punches at Bill during one scene because his insults got so bad. This antagonizing went on for the entire duration of production and Bill kept on berating Lucy about her presence on set and calling her unprofessional as well. Bill Murray is one mean guy. I mean, he's admitted to being mean, but man, he's got some seriously bad vibes. At number 6, Katherine Heigl. A lot of people don't like Katherine Heigl because of how rude she is. She's been known to be mean to people on set, have high demands, and just has a really bad attitude. She's known to be quite critical of her roles and the material that she's given to work with, and even said that this is why she withdrew from Emmy nominations because she said that the material that she was given for Grey's Anatomy didn't warrant an Emmy. That's certainly disrespectful to the writers because for someone to say something like that implies that the writing wasn't good enough to please people, whereas the people at the Emmys thought that it was worth the award. 
And on top of that, winning this kind of award looks good for the team, but Catherine obviously didn't think of that and she only thought about herself. Talk about a bad attitude. Catherine is also known to make ridiculously high salary demands, and she apparently has been doing this since before she became a big name in the industry. She's reportedly hired and fired a lot of publicists and assistants over the years, so she sounds like quite the diva. Because of all this, directors and Hollywood execs don't want to work with her anymore, and I can't really say I blame them. At number five, Michael Phelps. Olympic swimmer Michael Phelps is often called the best swimmer of all time, but it seems like his aquatic skills are really all he's got going for him, since he's apparently got a bad attitude. He's done some pretty bad stuff in his life, so people don't think too highly of him. Back in 2014, he was arrested for driving under the influence, and speaking of that influence, Phelps has also been caught with drugs before. This isn't good for his image because being an Olympian, people have a lot of eyes on you. Phelps was reprimanded for his drunk driving and was suspended from swimming for six months. Months, but other than that, the scandal was pretty much kept under wraps. On top of this swimmer being a felon, he's also known to not be a team player. Apparently, he hides himself away from his other teammates when at competitions like the Olympics. You would think that being at something like the Olympics, you'd want to soak up all of that team spirit, but no. Michael wants nothing to do with his team and instead flies solo. Kind of a bad attitude if you ask me. At number four, Zoe Deschanel. Zoe Deschanel plays fun, bubbly, and happy characters in TV and in films, but her real personality is far from nice. Turns out that Zoe is actually pretty mean in real life. Her biggest thing is brushing off or being mean to her fans. According to one fan on Reddit, she allows some fans to talk to her, but only for a brief amount of time, if that. And she doesn't do pictures or autographs, and she'll just walk away from you if she wants to. People who have worked with the actress have also said that she's got a bad attitude on set, and that she's pretty stuck up and has a big ego. Others say that she demands a lot, throws tantrums about literally anything, and has a reputation for delaying shoots, but will go off on anyone else who makes demands or delays shoots. Double standards here. Basically, she's got a bad attitude, and that's one of the reasons why she doesn't get cast much anymore, because no one wants to work with her. At number three, Ariana Grande. I honestly thought that Ariana Grande was a really nice person. She's pretty soft-spoken and seems like she's really kind, but according to people who've worked with or interacted with the singer, it's not exactly true. She's apparently so bad that even her life coach quit on her, so you know something's up. Apparently, Ariana makes some high demands, from the positioning of lighting to being in the right position when people come to see her or take photos with her. She's also gotten backlash for her attitude from people she's worked with in the past, like Victoria Justice and Jeanette McCurdy. Jeanette has called Ariana a leech and a drama queen, and Victoria has accused Ariana of bullying her on set. Ariana was also involved in that donut licking incident which painted her as a disrespectful person, and she's been accused of using her relationships to further her career, along with being involved in some cheating scandals on two accounts, one while with Jay Brooks and another when she was with Mac Miller. The bottom line with Ariana is that she's not the nice girl she pretends to be. At number two, Tyra Banks. Tyra Banks is not all she's cracked up to be. She claims to be someone who's inclusive in the modeling industry, and she claims that she's kind and fair to everyone, but that is so far from the truth. She even tried framing Naomi Campbell as the industry's mean girl, but after Naomi responded to those allegations thrown her way, people started realizing that it was Tyra who was the tyrant all along. Other than throwing shade at Naomi, we've also come to realize some of the other horrible things that she's done. For example, while on America's Next Top Model, she made the contestants change their appearances all the time. Though Tyra claims that she's about being unique, she sure does like changing these girls' looks. On top of that, she also forced contestants to wear blackface and other racially insensitive makeup and clothing. Though she claimed that it was to show off and express other cultures, she totally went about that in an offensive and mean way. And Tyra even shamed people for the way they expressed themselves, as well as some contestants' sexuality. So many former contestants of the show have said how horrible Tyra is to work with, and if you see Tyra's outbursts on TV, I think that's already proof enough as to how mean she can be. At number one, Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan is one of the best basketball players of all time. The guy is a legend, but it seems as though Michael isn't all sunshine and rainbows off the court. When in the game, he's dazzling the crowd and winning games, but in real life, outside of sports, he's actually kind of a jerk. Many fans have said that he isn't the nicest celebrity out there because he can be very dismissive and rude to his fans, denying them photos or autographs. He's also been kicked out of 
out of a country club for being rude to other guests, and he's also been known to be quite mean to other athletes. For example, he once punched Steve Kerr in the face over a disagreement that they had. On top of that, Jordan bullied Bill Carwhite because he was salty that the team brought him on, and he's also been known to call other players really mean names and threaten them as well. I think he did all that stuff to intimidate these other players so that he could remain on top, but it's still quite rude of him to treat others this way. One more example that shows how mean this guy is, he tried cheating an old lady out of a game of cards. Who does that? At number 10, Lucille Ball. Lucille Ball was a star, super talented, a trailblazer for women in comedy, and someone who seemed to have a bright and fun personality. But according to some people who worked with her or had met the Hollywood star, Lucille wasn't all that nice to everyone she met. Some fans reported having unpleasant encounters with her, saying that she could be quite rude at times, and some celebs at the time had said things like that as well. Apparently shows were a little apprehensive about booking Lucille because she could be mean to other guests and staff, and they just didn't want to deal with the drama. Others who worked alongside the actress revealed that she didn't like interacting with the help, and got a reputation amongst flight attendants for being mean and refusing to speak to them when they would ask for her drink order or other things that she might need, and directed them to talk to her assistant instead. She would also refuse to talk to anyone she considered lower than she was in the entertainment industry. She was still a star, but maybe not so much in the eyes of those she worked with. At number 9, Jerry Seinfeld. I don't know about you guys, but when I noticed that a lot of people think that Jerry Seinfeld is mean, I was a little shocked. I mean, I don't know much about the guy, but I just didn't peg him as being the mean type. Most people don't like him because his humor goes a little too far, which I can totally understand. Some examples of crude humor from his show, Comedians in the Car Getting Coffee, include jokes about Harvey Weinstein and poking fun at the Me Too movement, as well as joking about assault and using words like gay in a derogatory manner. Also, he apparently doesn't like young people. According to sources, Jerry has refused to speak at colleges because he says students these days are too sensitive. What are your opinions on Jerry? Like I said, I don't know much about him apart from the B movie, so what are your thoughts? Is his humor too crude, or are there other reasons you may or may not like him? If you're enjoying the video so far, please consider leaving a like on this video. We love seeing you guys supporting the channel, and it really helps us out. At number 8, Chevy Chase. Chevy Chase is known for being in National Lampoon and the show Community, but is also known around Hollywood as being kind of a jerk. There are a bunch of articles and books and interviews of people talking about their experiences with the actor and how mean he can be. There are even stories in the book Live from New York that detail the times that Chase has been mean to staff, writers, interns, and other hosts. Will Ferrell and Bill Murray are among those who don't like Chase because of the way he's treated others. Will Ferrell has said that he doesn't like Chevy because of the way he treats some female Male staff members. But it's not just the people on set that have been disrespected by the actor. Fans have also had horrible experiences with him. There was reportedly one incident where Chevy called a server at a restaurant a gay slur because his usual table wasn't ready, and there was another unpleasant fan encounter where one of his supporters went to greet the actor backstage at a theater and he got slapped in the face. I think you'd want to stay away from this guy because he doesn't sound very friendly. At number seven, Taylor Swift. A lot of people don't like Taylor Swift because of her attitude. She's really Really talented and has a lot of success in the industry, but some people have said that her attitude has rubbed them the wrong way. Taylor has been seen feuding with a lot of women in the industry, even though she preaches about spreading positivity and feminism. On top of that, the fact that she writes so many songs about her exes make people see her negatively because these relationships may not deserve to be exposed in the way that she does. In the past, Taylor has also faced cultural appropriation scandals because of her music video for the song Shake It Off. And to dig deeper, some people have also discovered that Taylor used to be a bully in high school. Basically, some people say that her quirky girl next door sort of look is all fake and that she's really just a bully. But what do you guys think? At number six, Pierce Brosnan. During an episode of The Late Late Show in 2017, James Corden spilled the tea on the rudest celebrity he's ever met, and it took some people by surprise. During a segment of Spill Your Guts or Fill Your Guts, guest Khloe Kardashian asked James about his worst experience with a celebrity, and James did not hold back. He told viewers about a run in that he had with the actor at a concert while with his wife. James said, quote, I went to see you 2 and Pierce Brosnan was with some friends here and they left halfway through the gig to go off. So me and my wife moved into this area and literally this arm went on here and just pushed me out of the way. I looked at him like that and he didn't even glance at me, end quote. So basically Pierce left his section for a bit and James moved in 
but when Pierce got back, he shoved James out of the way. I mean, he could have just been a little nicer about it. I don't know, like tapping him on the shoulder and saying, excuse me. I never thought of Pierce Brosnan as a mean person, but James' story may have changed my mind. At number five, Christina Aguilera. Christina Aguilera has the voice of a goddess, but that doesn't mean that she is one. Turns out she has a bad side and a few people have experienced it. Other than being shady at Lady Gaga during their 2008 feud where she called her some unpleasant names and said, quote, I'm not quite sure who this person is, to be honest. I don't know if it's a man or a woman. And she's had some other rude encounters. When working on set of her various gigs, she's reportedly always late and holds up production and has never apologized for delaying production. She also reportedly had some beef with Adam Levine while working on The Voice and they would bicker constantly. Christina is also known as a diva and working for her seems to be a nightmare because sources say that she's very rude and demanding of her household staff and treats her staff poorly, insisting that they're on call 24 seven. Christina has also had feuds with Pink and Mariah Carey and even got mad at Mickey Mouse once. Yeah, she got into a heated argument with Mickey Mouse when at Disneyland in 2014 for her birthday. She wanted to take a picture with the mouse, but he was going on break. And so instead of being an understanding person, she pulled the do you know who I am card. Not very nice. At number four, Gene Simmons. Musician Gene Simmons is known for his performances and music, not so much for being a nice guy. Though people may like him for the music that he creates, you may feel differently about him after learning how mean he really is. Gene has been called a misogynist because of some of the things that he said to and about women. One example of him being offensive towards women comes from an interview he did for NPR where he was talking about how money is important to him, saying, quote, I don't know what other tool I would use besides money to buy it. Although as a woman, of course you have the ability to sell your body, then get the money, and then with that, get food." End quote. Not a nice way to think of women at all. Gene has also said some creepy and disgusting things about women he slept with and women in general, calling them names and saying derogatory things, and has also made a number of racist remarks. He's made horrible remarks about many different cultures and races, and has even included some disrespectful language in some songs. I'd recommend not getting too close to this one either. At number three, Adam Levine. Well, we talked about Christina Aguilera, so Next up on the voice cast list is Adam Levine, and boy, is there some tea. Though Adam has cleaned up his act a bit in recent years after settling down, there was a time that he was not a nice guy. In the past, Adam has trash talked a lot of his exes, making for some pretty toxic energy. And of course, we have to mention his feuding with Christina Aguilera. He's also had beefs with Lady Gaga and Miley Cyrus just because he was very nitpicky about their music for no reason, really. And he's also been in several arguments with other voice co stars as well. Adam has also been accused of being a homewrecker because he had an alleged affair with Jessica Simpson, and he's also given some inappropriate details about his love life that I'm sure his partner would have liked to have been kept secret. But I think the thing that tops this all off is the fact that Adam has said in the past that he quote, didn't give autographs to ugly chicks. Two words, toxic energy. At number two, Sandra Bullock. I don't know about you, but to me, when I think about Sandra Bullock, I think of a wholesome soccer mom. Like the type of person that would come for you, but give you some tough love. Well, after learning about how mean Sandra really is, I don't think I'll be looking at her the same way again. A fan had a very unpleasant run in with the actress and she totally blew up in his face. The story goes that a woman and her husband were out for a walk in the park when they recognized Sandra in the area. She was on a break from filming The Heat and so the couple approached Sandra and asked for an autograph. The husband was a big fan of hers and he was a wheelchair bound veteran, so they thought that she might take a moment for them, but sadly that wasn't the case. Instead, she started screaming at him and sort of had a meltdown. Later on, the couple said that they understand that celebrities might not like being hounded by paparazzi and fans, but they thought that maybe she'd make an exception for them. Even still, a simple no would have done the trick. There was no reason to yell. At number one, John Mayer. John Mayer is not as nice as you may have thought. Though his songs sound beautiful and his lyrics might move you, he isn't the man you thought he was. Turns out, he's a jerk. He's spoken poorly about a lot of women he's dated, including Jessica Simpson and Jennifer Aniston, both of whom still hold grudges to this day. And he's said some pretty nasty things about women in general, making sexually charged comments, and even going so far as to say that he only finds white women attractive and literally no one else. Speaking of race, John has also used a lot of racial slurs in the past, saying the N-word with the hard R on a few occasions, and never having apologized for his actions. So next time you hear one of his songs on the radio, think about the 
person he really is deep down and then change the station. You do not need that negativity in your life. At number 10, Catherine Zeta-Jones. According to people who've worked with or lived near actress, Catherine Zeta-Jones is one of those celebrities you do not want to run into. People have had some less than kind reviews about their encounters with the actress and it's surprising. Apparently, Catherine has a very entitled attitude, expecting to be catered to her every whim and refuses to tip you for your assistance. One person even shared a story about how she was living in a condo when visiting a different city and demanded that the other tenants be banned from using the facility's gym while she was there. As one would expect, this request did not go over well with the rest of the tenants. She also has a reputation of being harsh and cold with fans. Once when an eight year old fan of hers approached her saying that she wanted to become an actress just like Catherine, the actress reportedly just looked the girl up and down and told her quote, you're pretty enough I suppose, and then just walked away. Clearly Catherine has some things to learn about being nice to others. At number nine, Russell Crowe. Actor Russell Crowe is able to command an audience while performing and captivate them with his talent, but that seems to be about the extent of his pleasant connection with others since he's reportedly a very mean person. There have been a number of reports detailing his violent outbursts from yelling at people like fans and co-workers to fighting with his bodyguards. At one point he was even rude to a large group of people while on an Irish talk show where he was performing a Johnny Cash song. The audience tried clapping along to the song but couldn't keep in time and this made Russell mad and he told them to shut up. Russell has also had a violent outburst with hotel staff in 2005 where he threw a phone at one of its employees, resulting in him getting charged with felony assault. And to top it all off, he even had some harsh words for his fellow actors, calling George Clooney, Harrison Ford, and Robert De Niro sellouts. At number eight, John Hamm. Some have pointed out that John Hamm's Mad Men character, Don Draper, is played a little bit too well. The mean and arrogant character seems to share a number of similarities to John's own personality, according to some, which sort of makes the two of them mold into one uber mean guy. According to Kathy Griffin, of all people, John Hamm is a rude guy and she exposed him in her book, Celebrity Run-Ins My A to Z Index. In her book, Kathy recounts her unpleasant encounter with John at a dinner party. John apparently questioned why Kathy was at the event in the first place, and then later on he approached her again, clearly intoxicated, while she was talking to Jack Nicholson and whispered in her ear saying quote, you know your Emmy isn't a real Emmy and you're so old. That's exactly how it was spelled. Old. Yeah, sure he's in the Skip the Dishes commercial, but frankly, I'd like to skip him. At number seven, Carrie Underwood. This one was a little surprising to me, but according to those who've encountered Carrie Underwood, she's not as nice as you think. Apparently, Carrie is sometimes known to be quite rude and arrogant. Carrie is reportedly rude to other celebrities and often snaps at them, expecting utter perfection or nothing at all. She once told Leighton Meester to quote, get out there and not F it up at an award show. And when someone spoke up about that kind of attitude, Carrie just replied saying quote, she'll get over it. Carrie has also admitted to being less than hospitable towards fans and even being selfish and closed off around them. There have even been reports of Carrie being a song stealer. A singer songwriter sued Carrie, the NFL and NBC for having allegedly stolen a song that she had written in 2016, saying that they plagiarized it and were using it to introduce Sunday Night Football. The suit was later dropped, but it still left people wondering if that's all she's allegedly stolen. At number six, Ben Stiller. Though many people know him as this super funny guy, behind closed doors, it seems as though he's quite the opposite. People who know or have worked with Ben in the past have exposed some of his mean behavior and it's pretty shocking. According to those who worked with him on the set of Tropic Thunder, he was very controlling and mean to just about everyone. He reportedly had a meltdown on set when his Diet Coke didn't have exactly two ice cubes in it and he even had someone fired because they didn't put enough sugar in his coffee. Ben even forced his assistant to stand out in the parking lot in his designated parking space even though it already had a sign saying that it was reserved. Ben also freaked out on a female assistant that he had and refused to come back to set until she was replaced by a male assistant. Being an assistant to the stars can often pay well, but I don't think you could ever pay me enough to endure Ben Stiller's treatment of others. At number five, Vanessa Hudgens. When you think about Vanessa Hudgens, most people would picture her in High School Musical. For years, she carried around that Disney vibe, but after learning about her dark side, you may change your thoughts about her. Basically, Vanessa often lets 
her jealousy get the best of her, and oftentimes this leads to people getting their feelings hurt. Take for example this one time when a fan approached Vanessa's ex, Zac Efron. The couple were out shopping at a department store when a young fan went up to Zac to tell him how much she loved him. She was apparently super nervous and stumbling over her words, and so instead of being an understanding and respectful person, Vanessa instead started making fun of the young fan. She started laughing at the poor girl and humiliated her in front of her celebrity crush. The other shoppers were shocked at Vanessa's behavior, but this apparently wasn't a new thing since Vanessa had reportedly told sources that she found fans to be obnoxious. Fans aren't the only ones to feel her wrath either, and she was rumored to have bullied Selena Gomez as well on a few occasions. At number two, Lindsay Lohan. Lindsay Lohan had her Hollywood fall from grace, and even though we still talk about her, she doesn't hold the same notoriety as she once did. There are a lot of factors that play into that, but one of those being her reputation of rubbing people the wrong way. There are people who say that she's entitled because she gained fame at such a young age, so she expects everyone to bow down to her in a way. She's also been called a liar after lying to police on multiple occasions, and Paris Hilton even called her a pathological liar after Lindsay claimed to have handled Whitney Houston's body bag while volunteering at a morgue. On top of that, she's apparently a nightmare to work with because she damages sets and steals props and has a reputation for holding up production. She's known to berate her assistants for the littlest things and she's known to manipulate people into getting her own way. There are a number of people who have horror stories about Lindsay making her out to be less than kind. At number 10, Kim Kardashian. Kim K is definitely no stranger to scandal. It seems like every few weeks she's in the news about something and her fans, haters, and news sources alike are talking about her latest scandal, either defending or scrutinizing her for it. Though she's faced backlash for political drama and for taking vacations during the pandemic, one of her longest standing dramas is her cultural appropriation. Many of the things Kim posts or advertises gets called out for cultural appropriation. Back when she first launched her shapewear line Skins, she faced backlash for its original name being Kimono as it was seen as offensive to the Japanese community. She's also been called out for appropriating black culture as well because of the hairstyles that she's worn and for black fishing. Kim has been seen wearing cornrows and posing with darkened tans on multiple occasions which has angered many people. She as well as many other members of her family have been called out for these kinds of actions and the the fact that this keeps happening kind of says a lot about them. At number eight, Bruce Willis. Actor Bruce Willis has had a great career making great movies and basking in fame, but it seems as though he's not all that great in real life. Though his films are often very successful, it all comes at a price that those who've worked alongside him have had to pay. Apparently, Bruce is a nightmare to work with as he's gotten into some conflicts with others on set and people just really hate working with him. Before Die Hard launched his film career, he was brought into stardom after working on the show Moonlighting alongside his co-star Sybil Shepard. In 2005, Shepard told sources that there came a point where her relationship with Bruce became volatile and they clashed a lot on set. There was reportedly constant bickering and it was just a toxic environment. But Sybil isn't the only one to have clashed with Bruce while working together. Filmmaker Kevin Smith has also had his troubles with working with Bruce while filming the 2010 film Cop Out. He told sources that though he said that Bruce was his hero in past productions, that opinion completely went out the window after saying that working with Bruce was very difficult. When talking about their time together on set, he turned out to be the unhappiest, most bitter, and meanest emo b-word I've ever met at any job I've held down, and mind you, I've worked at Domino's Pizza. What an awful experience." End quote. Maybe Bruce just isn't all he's cracked up to be. At number seven, Jesse James. Jesse James is an American entrepreneur, TV personality, and Sandra Bullock's ex-husband. Jesse is known in the media for his extramarital affairs as he's known to have cheated on Sandra Bullock when they were together, and most recently we found out that he cheated on his now ex-wife Alexis DeJoria with at least 20 women. These DMs and other images expose Jesse for his affairs, but this isn't the first time that a photo has gotten him in trouble. The West Coast Chopper's founder was also accused of being someone who supports the ideals similar to those of the World War II German government in 2004 after a photo was leaked which showed him posing like the fascist German leader. I think you know what I'm talking about. Jesse clearly has problems respecting people on different fronts, and he definitely is not a nice person. At number six, Naomi Campbell. Supermodel Naomi Campbell has been in the fashion industry for over 30 years, and over this time, she's had her fair share of scandals and feuds, most notably her feud with fellow model Tyra Banks, who's painted Naomi as the industry's mean girl. 
So this feud has shown that Tyra is actually meaner than Naomi, and we've covered her mean streak in one of our other parts of this series. That doesn't mean that Naomi is off the hook, as she's known to have violent outbursts. Naomi has been accused of being violent on 11 occasions and has been convicted of assault four times. Some of the reported violent incidents include the model physically harming her assistant, grabbing her by the throat and beating her with a phone, harming another assistant and allegedly holding her hostage, throwing her phone at a housekeeper, and other accounts of emotional and physical distress. Naomi is known for having a temper and for getting into conflicts in the past, but still tries to make amends for those actions. At number 5, Terrence Howard. Empire actor Terrence Howard has a reputation for being difficult. He was dropped by the Iron Man franchise over failed contract negotiations and for being difficult to work with on set, this is far from the only reason why he's on this list. Terrence also has reputation for harming women and others on many occasions. In 2000, the actor was arrested for assaulting a flight attendant, but those charges were later dropped. One year later, he was arrested again for getting into a heated argument with his ex-wife, which led to him driving to her house, kicking down the door, and physically harming her, to which he pleaded guilty. In 2005, he was involved in another violent encounter as he allegedly punched two people, and in 2010, less than a week after their wedding, Terrence began mistreating his wife, physically harming her, and threatening her life. Two years later, he was involved in another fight with one of his mistresses, where he physically assaulted her as well. Other than the fact that these violent incidents have happened so many times, the fact that he's also gone out of his way to blame these incidents on the victims on multiple occasions also says something about his attitude. At number 2, Hilary Duff. Hilary Duff is seemingly one of the former Disney stars who was able to walk away from the company unscathed for the most part, but over the years it seems as though she's traded her goody Disney image for a mean girl attitude. While her character, Lizzie McGuire, stood up to be mean, Hillary clearly did not keep that in mind when she put her neighbor on blast in 2018. The actress took to her Instagram to rant about her neighbor, talking about the noise and the smell that she's endured while living near them, but instead of keeping their name out of things, she put it out there. Multiple times. On several Instagram stories, Hillary posted her neighbor's first and last name as she continued to berate them and call them names. Doing this actually violated Instagram's community guidelines and some of the posts were taken down as a result. I mean, anybody can rant about whatever, as we've seen on the internet multiple times, but posting their name to millions of followers who are also able to find this person and berate them more is definitely going too far and definitely grants you a mean status.